你好。Hey everybody, and welcome to the Gaosheng Cultural Center. We have filmed this intro at least 20 times <laughs> all over this park, and it's filled with dogs and high school students. And every time we'd make it halfway through this intro, it would get ruined by either fighting dogs or yeah. dancing high school students. So, anyway, here we are. We finally found a quiet backside of this place. Right.、Um, It's still pretty nice. It's still a really cool place to come. It's it's a beautiful park, and in the center of it is the cultural center. But that's not what this video is about. What is this video about?、Uh, it's about how to prepare for the Chinese New Year. Yeah, Chinese New Year is here. Twenty eighteen. It's the year of the Yay, dog. Dog. It's the year. Oh, that's a coincidence. Dogs have been ruining this video since we started making it. Oh my god. That's why. That's、it. why. Yeah. So anyway, we wanted to film two videos about Chinese New Year. The first one, this one. Talking about how to prepare. Yes. And then we'll make another video, actually at your family's、mm -hmm. place. Doing the Chinese New Year. Doing what? Meals. A meals. lot of meals. Consuming <laughs> alcohol and food. Right. Yeah.、Uh -huh. and, and losing money. Oh yeah. So also, as you prepare for Chinese New Year, there's a lot of shops around town to help you do so. Yeah.、Uh, to buy the food, to buy the decorations, to buy the toys, whatever. Uh, but there's also a really famous street here in Gaoshang, and and one、yeah. up in Taipei. But the one here in Gaoshang is called、uh, San Feng Zhong Jie. You can find anything you need for Chinese New、yeah. Year there, and we went. Oh, it, it was, was tough. Crazy. Oh my god. There are people everywhere.、Yeah. I mean, you are like shoulder to shoulder, and it was it was pretty rare for them also <laughs> to see. Uh, a foreigner walking around this street. Like, oh, really? <laughs> oh! I was getting a lot of looks. <laughs> anyway, so what's the first thing that you need to prepare for Chinese New Year? So the first thing is the most important thing is the food. So what are three foods that we can expect to find on a table during Chinese New Year? Okay, so the first one is the pig's feet noodles. Pig's feet noodles. Yes. What kind of noodles? You you said like angel hair. Yeah, angel hair yeah, pasta. Yeah. Uh huh. Right. And then just like a pig's foot on in... the top <laughs> of the noodles. Do you cook the noodles with the pig's feet, or do you cook no, them separately. separately? And then you just stick the pig's foot right right on the.、Uh -huh. And guys... with some soup, some soup on the side or like in in the bowl. Do you guys like pig's feet? I'm not a fan. I, I mean,、am. yeah, you like it.、Uh -huh. You eat almost anything though. It's all about the cartilage. It's all about like the the stuff in between the bones. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you're eating. Pig's Good、feet. for your skin. <laughs> If you guys like pig's feet, leave a comment below. Let us know how much you like it or why、right. you don't like it. Right. Okay. What's something else we、mm. could find? And the rice cake. Rice cakes. Yes. What kind of rice cakes? What are those? Uh, they make usually they can make with like red beans or some carrots, and it can also be like sweet or salty. And what's the last thing? Uh, fish. What kind of fish? Like any kind of fish. Any kind of fish,、mm. but there has to be fish. Yes, it means like good luck. Okay, so what's the next thing that we need to prepare for Chinese New Year? Candies. Candies and toys for you, the kids. <laughs> for the kids. <laughs> for me. How do you? How does that work? Do you just like throw candy and then、no. the kids like dive on it like no, a wedding day? No, just put. You just put it on the. Oh my god, that was terrible. Just put it on the table, and the kids will go grab it. Okay. Okay. Well, and what she's referring to about our wedding day, what I brought up was there was this like bouquet of of chocolates. Chocolates. And as soon as Vicky brought it out, we were just swarmed with kids and parents trying to get chocolate、yeah. for their kids. It was、This、crazy. This good me it was, it was a lot. But anyway, so there's all kinds of、uh, stands that you can go find. Any candy you're、mm -hmm. looking for for、right. for the kids for Chinese New Year,、yeah. and also we we say toys, but not it's not all about the toys. You guys have these、um, boxes, right? That、oh, yeah, you like yeah, yeah. push.、Whoop. How does that work? You just like break one little box and see what you get. So does anybody get to break the box, or do you get do you, do you win and then you get to break one of the boxes, or do you no, just you walk break, around? Yeah, and, you just walk around and break、wow. it. Okay, so moving on from candy and toys, what's the third thing that we need to prepare? Decorations. What kind of decorations? Uh, just regular charms. 
like the the scrolls, the banners that you put over your doorway? Yeah. What's that for? Is that just for good luck? For good luck. Happiness. Uh huh. And yeah. money. And Make money. money. Yeah. Speaking of money, what else do you need to prepare? <laughs> a lot of money and the red envelopes. The red envelopes. What is important about the red envelopes? Because you need to put money inside and then give it to like kids or olders. Older people. Like yeah. so, we're giving red envelopes to your parents. My parents. Yeah, but yes. you've been receiving red envelopes for a long time. But now it's time to give back. Yes, I have to pay back. <laughs> and there are rules. There's rules for these red envelopes. So we have to give an even amount of money, mm -hmm. right? Yes. If you are not married, uh, you can still get red envelopes. Uh, it depends on if you have a job or not. Okay. If you're not married, don't have a job. Yes. You can still receive red envelopes. And do we have to give them to kids in your family? Oh uh, no, no. Too many kids, no. But traditionally, kids do receive red envelopes mm -hmm. with money inside. But your family stopped doing that. Yes, they stopped five years ago because we are too old to get it. <laughs> That's what I think. But don't the kids in the family still get them? I mean, not you guys. Yeah, 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 like younger generation because they are still like little kids, so they can they can receive money mm. still. I'm jealous. <laughs> yeah, we just lose money now. <laughs> yeah, that's I'm I'm not looking forward to Chinese New Year. I mean, I'm <laughs> I'm looking forward to the food, not to losing money. Mm. But hey, it's for a good cause. I'm happy to give money to your parents to say yeah. thank you. Yeah, it's all about saying thank you, right? Mm -hmm. Good luck for the new year and thank, thank you for you. being awesome. Friends, right, right. Right? Uh -huh. And so what's the last... No, you got all my money anyway. <laughs> what's the last thing that we have to prepare? Well, just your stomach. My stomach? Yes. Be Bring, ready. <laughs> Bring an empty stomach. Mm -hmm. Because also what your aunts and your mom like to do is keep putting food on my plate because right. they think I'm too skinny. Yeah, eat this, eat that, you're too skinny, eat more. My plate just keeps getting, I keep eating, but it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. My, my plate, not my stomach. And this. All right, everybody, thanks for watching this first part of our Chinese New Year videos. Yes. Um, the next thing you'll see is us eating a lot, destroying food, right? losing money and giving candy to kids. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Uh, right. Anyway, if you aren't already, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Facebook. We're uh -huh. posting a ton of pictures and videos on there that aren't here on YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, also, if you like what you see, make sure you subscribe. And you want to be subscribed to make sure you see the next part of this video. Right. So thanks for watching. Thank you. You guys are awesome. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.